Finally here at 7 Emperor, wonder why the certain patterns of stars in the night sky make up our constellations. Newswatch 16's John Hickey dug into constellation history and the best way to view them in this week's Skywatch 16. Enjoy your night. We will see you later on at 10 and 11. The constellations are patterns we make out of stars in an area of the sky. That's John Sabia. He's an yeah, assistant okay. observer at Keystone on. College's okay. Thomas G. Cupolari Observatory. We had an online chat about the history of constellations. Egyptians had uh, constellations, and Chinese, um, and Europe had them, uh, but they, they were just uh, not uniform. That's why in 1930, International Astronomical Union devised the maps for where uh, the constellation boundaries are. Constellations come in all shapes and sizes. So these uh, patterns or star are named after various things, animals, people, mythological people, hair. Uh, there's even a fly out there. <laughs> there are 88 constellations in all, but something separates a dozen of them from the rest. The zodiacs have 12 constellations, each for one month of the year in horoscope times. There are over 12 constellations where the planets rotate through over the course of their orbits around the sky. The moon, the sun, and the planets all move through the constellations of the zodiac. To help spot constellations, you could use one of the many free apps available. Download them, use them, and uh, they just take it, they aim it at the sky, and they'll see a pattern of stars. But apps might not be your best bet. When you're using an app, and I don't care if they have the red light on it, you know, what you're doing is you're putting that uh, light in your eye and you're filling your eye with all this light and you're not keeping your eyes adapted to the dark, darkness of the sky. What I usually do is uh, use a piece of paper or a planisphere with a red flashlight so I can shine it onto the paper and not have it light shining into my eye. To help you spot constellations and other interesting things in the night sky, you can visit the Thomas G. Cupolari Observatory on clear Wednesday and Friday evenings. Observatory staff will be there with telescopes and helpful instruction starting at 7.30. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16.